How's it going everyone? Phil here from Ferris Technology. These are the best cases for the iPhone 14 for under $25. For today's video, we're using an iPhone 14 Plus, but all of these cases are available for every iPhone 14 model. I'm going to link them all in the description box below so you can check out the current colors and pricing. All right, let's get started. Nilkin Cam Shield Pro, and this one I've got in black. This currently retails for $15.99. It does come in a couple different colors and lots of different options for you. So We'll have a look at this case. We can see that it is a rubber style case. It's almost like a harder TPU. The inside of it is just nice and smooth. It doesn't really twist that much, so it's actually pretty rigid, which is nice. Let's go ahead and grab my iPhone 14 Plus and we'll go ahead and put it onto this case right here. So it just will snap in from all four sides right there. Um, I do highly recommend getting yourself a screen protector for your phone before you put on any case. It's definitely handy to have a screen protector. So you can see I've got a screen protector on here right now and it does fit perfectly fine with this case. So we do have about 0.2 millimeter raised edging on the front of the case so it does give a little bit of a lip as well so when you go ahead and put your phone down it, it is still protected we can see the unique part about this case is the back right here we can see it does have this little slider piece for your camera lens which is super handy it does click into place so it clicks when it's open it clicks when it's closed or if you choose you can just completely remove it if you want to just have it removed and have that kind of clean look and it also does have a protection around the edging right here for the camera lens itself which is super handy. I prefer to have it on and then it just clicks back into place and I prefer to have it closed when I want it closed, open when I want it. Having a look around the case, we can see that the corners are kind of raised up so they are reinforced for dropping. So if you drop your case on its corners, it's going to be fully protected. I love the grip style on the back of this case right here. You can see it's got this nice textured feel to it. So it actually, it feels really nice. It feels like it gives you a little bit more grip when you're holding it. The sides even have a little bit of a gripping around the edge as well which is super cool we do have this nice raised button which is very easy to press and these ones on this side also very easy to press we do have this little opening right here for your mute on and off switch makes it easy to use and we can see that raised lip for that camera which is really cool so we know it's fully protected when you're putting it down just like that we can see that it's just it's kind of almost like it's on an angle a little bit because of that raised edge so if you like that that's cool um, fully protects your camera for you we can see in the bottom right here we can see the nice opening for your microphone your speaker and your charging port right there so that's handy to have but overall i really like the design of this case i think it looks really cool i love this opening closing of your camera lens to fully protect it so you know it's not going to get scratched all of your color options and pricing will be down below. Caseology Parallax. This one I've got in Midnight Blue. It also does come in black and burgundy. It's currently priced at $18.99. It does have a nice kind of a design on the back of right here. You can see the shapes right there and you can feel them. So they're actually like physical feel case shapes right there, which is really nice. We do have this kind of like glossy piece right here on the back. And then we've got like a matte kind of leather textured feel on the top and the bottom, which is kind of neat. We do have a raised edging for your camera on the back. And then the inside, it does have your MagSafe design. So you can click on all your MagSafe accessories and they stick on perfectly fine. Let's grab my iPhone 14 Plus. We'll put it right on, clicks right in all four corners, pretty standard. And we'll have a look on the back. You can see we've got the camera sticking out there, but the lens does not protrude out of the case. It is nicely protected within there. Buttons are nice and big, very easy to press. You can see on that side right there as well, as well as the mute on and off switch works perfectly fine, very easy to press right there as well. And we'll look on the bottom, you can see the openings for your speaker, your ports, all that good stuff down there. And on the side of it, it also does have this really nice grippy kind of textured lines. You can see the lines that it has going right through here. It is very easy to hold and feel so. Really, really nice, I like it. If you like the design of this case, then this is definitely one for you. It's not like super clean just because it's got like different areas. It is a one piece case, even though it does, it kind of feels like it would be a two piece case, like it would come apart with the lines and stuff like that, but it's not, it's just a single piece case. So interesting, 
We've got the Caseology Parallax. Let me know what you guys think of this case. Subcase Unicorn Beetle. And this one is in the azure color, they call it, which is just like a blue. We've also got it in black. We've got it in clear as well as like a mauve color. And the current pricing of this case is $19.99 at the time of filming this video. And this has been kind of one of my go-to cases for several of the past years of iPhones that I've had. I really like how they have the exposed clear uh, black. It's like an acrylic plastic on the back right here, which is really nice. So it shows through, but then also it's thick enough that it's got like good drop protection. We'll go ahead and grab my iPhone 14 plus. We'll just click it all in all down on all the sides right there. So it goes in nicely and you can see the back. We've got that nice exposed design, which again, I really, really like it. I really like how you can see right through. The only thing is you wanna make sure you clean the back of your iPhone before you put it in here. You can see I've got fingerprints right on the actual logo itself. I gotta clean my phone off again before I put it back in. But I like the color. I like how this matches the blue of this iPhone nicely. Um, I like the kind of darker edging right here. And you can just see the reinforced like corners on this one. So this is very, very durable for dropping and whatnot. We do have the raised edges on the back right here. So you can see this is nice and hard, protects your camera. So if you put it down flat, it's perfectly fine. And then the edging on the front of it as well. When you put it down this way, you can see I slam it down. I got no problems with this case. It's super, super durable of a case. And I just love the feel. The buttons feel really nice. Right here on the side, we've got a nice big opening for your mute on and off switch. This case also just recently came out with the MagSafe design on the back of it, so you can clip your MagSafe to it. I'm gonna link those down below for you as well. I'd probably recommend just getting the MagSafe variation of it if you use any of the MagSafe charging. If you just want that clean, open look on the back then, I would just get this one right here. Taurus Diamond Clear. If you like clear cases, this is definitely one of the better ones. The main thing with this one I will I'll tell you is it's anti-yellowing. So it's not gonna change color over time, which a lot of the previous generation of cases would change color when they're clear. So this one will always stay clear. You can take it off, you can wash underwater to clean it off if you need to, but it's just an excellent looking case. And it's kind of gives you that minimalist look but protection for your phone. So we'll go ahead and put my iPhone 14 Plus in the case itself. And you can see it's fully exposing of your phone. So if you wanna show your phone off, but you still wanna have protection, this is definitely one of the best ways to go. We can see the edging as well. It's slightly reinforced as well, so it's gonna be good for your drop protection. Uh, we can see the back here. It's got the raised lip for your camera, which is good. The buttons, they're a little bit harder than I would like. I would like it to be a little bit softer. It actually feels like they would wear in a little bit, so it's not too bad actually. And the opening right here, we can see that that's nice and open right there as well. We've got the bottom right here, which protects your speaker, your charging port and all that good stuff down there. But overall, I like it. I like the minimalist design, the show offness of your phone. It's kind of like, I mean, if you got an iPhone 14 and you want people to see, this is definitely the case to do it on. Tokal case, and this one is liquid silicone. So it's got a nice matte texture feel to the rear of the case, kind of like the OEM silicone iPhone cases that they have. It's got that same nice feel. And then the inside as well, it's got that nice padded kind of great looking. I love the feel of the inside of this. This is super, super soft. Really, really nice. The cool thing about this case as well is it does come with a bunch of extra stuff. So it does come with uh, two lens protectors. You can put these on there to protect your lenses from getting scratched if you want to. Personally, I'm not a fan of putting those type of things on, but it also does come with screen protectors right here. So we've got two glass screen protectors included with this case. So here we go. Let's pull these out. We can see. There we go. Nice glass screen protector. So super awesome that they include all of those for this case. It's only $20.99. You get two screen protectors, you get your case, you get your lens protectors, all that good stuff. A couple of looks like some stickers in here as well. So nice that they include a bunch of that extra stuff for you. But case itself right here does come in a ton of different colors as well. So check those ones out. And there's my iPhone 14 Plus. Let's go ahead and put that right on right here as I'm opening things on my phone. Um, this case fits pretty tight on the phone, which is good. So you know it's not gonna fall off. It's not like flimsy around the edges. The side's a little bit flimsier here where your buttons and stuff are, but this corners, they're super strong. So this case is not gonna fall off. 
fits very, very nicely. We can see in the back right here, got a little bit of a raised lip for your camera, which is pretty standard for most cases, which I do like. The buttons, they're nice and soft. Very easy to press the buttons on this case. We can see the bottom right here, your microphone and speakers do have the little dots right there. So I'm not too sure, I haven't tested it as far as talking on the phone. Sometimes when they have these dots, they might uh, block your microphone a little bit. For the most part though, they're pretty, pretty good though. Uh, the opening for your mute switch works well. It's a little bit small, so gotta kind of reach in a little bit in there. But it's a very clean case, just super, super clean. Very nice, it's got that nice matte feel to it. So it's pretty minimalist of a case. Doesn't have like super reinforced edging for drop protection, but overall, I really, really do like it. If you're a fan of these silicone type matte finish cases, this is definitely the best one. And for $20.99 with all the accessories that they include, it's an excellent value. Spigen Max Armor, and Spigen's been around for a long time making really, really good quality cases. This case does come in black as well. This is the midnight blue or navy blue option as they call it. And it is currently priced at $24.99. So definitely a good value of a case. Let's go ahead and see in the inside, it does have the MagSafe built into it. So it's MagSafe on the back so you can magnetically clip on your chargers or any accessories and stuff that you have. Let's go ahead and grab my iPhone 14 Plus. I'll go ahead and put that into the phone itself and you can see how nice it looks. Fits perfectly fine inside of the case right here. I love this textured back right here. It feels very grippy, which is really nice. We put it on, even on the ground, it's uh, it's not like super grippy, but it just, it feels grippy in the hand. We do have the nice lip right here which protects your lens very, very nicely. The buttons on here are kind of like oversized, so they're super easy to press right here. Very, very nice. The opening right here is perfectly aligned right there for your mute on and off switch. The bottom is fully opened, so it's not gonna block your speakers or microphone or anything like that. And a nice big open charge port right there. The edging right here, it's not like super reinforced or anything like that, but uh, it's definitely like a thinner profile style case but all around protection. I really, really do like this case. I'm having a hard time deciding which case I'm gonna rock on my iPhone 14 Plus because there's just so many good options, but that is your Spigen Mag Armor case. Kaseku Shockproof Case, currently priced at $17.98. Does come in a couple different color options as well. We've got the darker black one, and it does have this nice frosted back. So it's gonna be interesting to see what it looks like on the phone itself. If you look on the inside, it's just the same on the inside it is on the back. Uh, it is like a TPU style plastic case, but it is quite firm. So it does feel like it's gonna give some good drop protection as well. It uh, also does come with this, this little stand right here, which is super, super interesting, super cool that they come with a little stand. Let's go ahead and put my phone on here. And we'll actually first put it on the stand so we can put it, oops, we'll close my camera right there. So you can put it this way, just like that, if you wanna stand it up or if you wanna stand it up that way, you can do it both ways. So interesting that they've included a stand with your case, but hey, love the extra accessories, so that's interesting. All right, let's see what the case looks like on the back right here. You can see that it does show your iPhone logo. It does have that nice frosted look. I kinda like that, I kinda do like that. It looks good. The sides, it's got like a black matte finish to it. And then the edging on here, it is like a shockproof case. So it's the type of design that they've done where it kind of disperses the energy through the case as opposed to your phone. So it's slightly raised shockproof cornering on there, as you can see. And then we do have the nice exposed openings for your microphone, speaker, and charging port right there. The buttons on here, a little bit firmer buttons, but still big and easy to press. And then we got the big, perfectly aligned opening right there for your mute on and off switch. 360 all around protection. Your camera itself, big raised lip on there. So no problems putting it down, smashing it around and all of that good K. Uh, Kaseku, case. I like this one. What do you guys think of this one? It's an interesting design. Um, it's kind of minimalist, but 
still looks really, really good and professional. Cyrell Kajic Mag Safe Case. And the one thing I really like about this case is it kind of imitates the Apple OEM leather case. So it's got a nice feel to it, feels like leather, but it's just like a faux material. So it's kind of like a vegan leather, I guess you could say. This one is shockproof, so it's got some really good edging all around the case. And on the inside of the case, you can see it's got some nice felt to it, so it's really gonna protect your case nicely. Also super cool that they include this little lanyard accessory, which can hook right on here, right on the side of your phone right here. So if you wanna use that, you can. I'm not really a big fan of using lanyards on my phone, so let's go ahead and grab my iPhone 14 Plus. We'll put it right on right there. It just snaps right in nicely. There we go. And we can have a look at it. Look at that. So it looks really good with the blue, especially in this case with the black does come in several different colors. And this one on the side, we can see that it's got nice buttons right there. Easy to press switch is very easy to press. We've got uh, the nice openings for the microphone, the speaker port, all that good stuff down there. Looks really good. And look around the back again, we can see our camera lip. The camera lip is very, very nice. And like I said, it is shock and drop proof. So no problems whatsoever. I'm not worried about breaking this case or anything like that. Really like the grippy feel of it. Just an overall, just a solid case. I really, really like this one. ESR Classic Hybrid MagSafe case. This one retails for $18.99 currently. And this one is just a very, very solid clear case, but it does have the MagSafe built right into it. So you can just perfectly see that. It's not like they're trying to hide it or anything like that. And this one is, it's a little bit thicker of a case, but then that's gonna give it good protection. It's nice and rigid. It's not like super, twisty or, or anything like that. So let's go ahead and grab my 14 plus and we'll go ahead and just throw it right on there. And there we go. We can see the nice mag safe right there. It looks really, really good. Just really nice. I mean, I think this is just a solid overall case for a clear case. I prefer the look of that MagSafe. I actually like that it's kind of exposed like that. I think it looks neat. We do have uh, easy access to the buttons. They're a little bit firmer of buttons, but that's okay. It's still easy to press. The mute on and off switch is nice and easy to reach right there. We even have this little opening right here. If you want to hang a lanyard on, I believe you can do that as well. Again, I'm not a fan of lanyards, uh, but we do have some good openings, nice cuts for the speakers and the charger ports and all that good stuff there. And on the side, we do have a little itty bitty ESR writing, but it's very subtle. You don't really see it or it doesn't really bother you. Button, very easy to press. And for a camera on the top, we do have a very, very nice lip to it right there. So you can see that. So that's gonna be nice and protected when you put it on the ground and again just an overall solid feeling case it's way better than not having a case on your phone at all and then you get to use that nice MagSafe on there so ESR case very very good as well all the cases in this video are linked in the description box below so check them out for current pricing and colors let me know in the comment section which case you think is the best